It's two back golf course and it's where they shot very famous tin cup scenes. This is the course where he breaks his clubs and plays the rest of the round with a seven iron in qualifying. He also hits a three wood onto the green from 230 before getting fired as David Sims caddy. Give me the lumber. I think you wanna hit a two iron here, boss. I said I want the big dog. Tight par five, other ones on the left. You wanna hit a two iron. I'm not going left of those trees or right of those trees. I'm going over those trees with a little draw. That way I'm home in two, that way I'm putting for the course record. You're not going to listen to me. Even when I'm trying to help you, you're not going to listen to me. Well, boys, looks like I'm hitting a safe shot. But sometimes I do catch that two a little thin. Then there's the seven iron. And I never miss with a seven iron. Well, the bag's lighter, Louise. You happy now? No, I'm not happy. I watch you blow up too many times. Oh, there goes Louise, little quitter. Louise oh, the quitter. Oh, that's money, that's a beauty. Well, the word normal on the end don't often collide in the same sentence. Perfect distance. Oh my God. That looks really money. That is perfect. Really? Absolutely perfection. <laughs> Holy smoly, everything with a seven iron. I almost want to do the same. I really thought, I really, you know, that's going to look like I fudged that, but that is one of the best shots I've ever hit in my life. That was incredible. Oh, money. Not too bad. Little pasky. What a way to start. Imagine if I birdied first hole with a seven. I never miss. I never miss with a seven iron. I find him mildly attractive when he's obnoxious and arrogant like this. Okay, players, this is exactly where Tin Cup hit the three wood out of David Sims' bag against Craig Stadley in the match that they played in the charity match. This is the exact location Kevin Costner stood and hit that shot. Another dream come true. I didn't know that was at this course, so I'm quite lucky. We've got a Bellata ball, something that uh, they would have played in that time period. And if we and I actually have the three wood that he used in the movie, the tailor-made burner. It's actually in the car, but I didn't know that they had that shot here. This looks like more than you got in your bag, partner. I could hit that shot. Oh, it's looking good. What a shot. Hey, come on, man. Okay, players, we have hit the 7 iron right to where we want to be. If this is 180, 189, absolute money. I'm so happy with that, Lynx. Slight fly or lie. We already knocked, we already knocked the three wood right on the green. On the green. Hey man, this this place is inspiration. Players, here's the three wood. The tour Bellata three wood, tour professional. Stack it nice and close. Here we go. A oh, tour Bellata, I thought it was a professional 90. It's a tour Bellata 90, tide list. Bang that one on. Beautiful. Now we've got this. I had a beautiful seven iron in here, but Got to try to get up and down now from this. My adrenaline's going a little bit. I'm so excited. This is probably the most exciting thing in golf in my entire life. I'm not even making it up. This is the greatest thing ever. A little firm, sir. A little firm. It's so funny. Dude, dude, dude dream come true. You can't, I can't even like explain to you. Man, I'm just like, dude, that's the greatest golfing experience of my life. I'm not even, like, even Pebble, I could just not go to Pebble now. That is just the best thing I've ever done. Oh my word. Dude. Are you joking? Dude, are you kidding me? It's like, it's like what, like five feet? Oh, no, ma maybe a little long. <laughs> 
what do I, why do I bring other clubs? That little three wood rider on the green there? It's just like this is a dream come true place. Now, you can make your dream come true as well. Whataplayergolf.com is having a tasty baby. Oh, you biscuit. You biscuit. Dude, why do I get all the old holes and stuff? Can you believe that? Good, huh? Took a little, took a little rebound off the hole as well. <laughs> oh come on, man! Can you believe that? Dude? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm serious. Like when you say that, I have no idea. I'm just played enough golf to be swinging easy and free now. Players, I've seen the Tin Cup movie 200 plus times. I'm not even kidding. I have literally seen it over 200 times. North. And this is the place where Tin Cup sold his clubs with Romeo because he was fed up with golf and they came to get them again here. Those are the arches and we're going to show you the other side. That's where they shot the scene and that's one of the most iconic scenes of the movie. We're going to go take a look inside, see if there's any golf clubs. But let's show you the other side of it. It was a bit different color. Now it's orange and green, but what a life. This is a door here where he went into the psychologist's office or otherwise known as Molly, Molly Griswold and this is where it was, this exact location. Kevin Costner was standing right here. What a life. Players, and this is where Tin Cup comes to celebrate. He's been at a Waffle House. I've never been to one, my first time ever. This is not the real Waffle House. There's another location but they tore it down to put a highway through. So I'm not going there but I have the coordinates if you want to see it. It's in the link below. We're going to go inside the Waffle House now and see what it's all about, see what Tin Cup loves so much. Let's go. I could take a chance and get it up on the right side of that bunker and let it like actually like take a slope, but the chance of going in the bunker is way too high. So we want to just get this on two stab. I mean 420, 430 yard par 4. Not likely with a, three, with a 7 iron. Okay, we're on. Now a two putt from there, maybe a challenge. <laughs> That's better than with my even roll. Oh boy, that's going to be tough. Oh, that's going to be a really tough shot with a seven. Good shot, great shot. I like that. Okay, a little bump and runner. A little bump and runner. Open the face a bit, get a bit more loftish because it's quite fluffy in front of me. Let it land somewhere on the fringe or just over. Yep, that'll be good. Stop now, you bastard. You little bioch. Well, they did warn us about, oh, look at that bad boy. They warned us about the two-back triangle. I didn't know what it meant, but now I did it. I'm not that scared of it. Hey, I'm just chipping on their greens. I hope they don't mind. Oh, nice. <laughs> Hey, we reached the fairway. I love it. I love it. Uh, so we, got, we got 218 to the 150 marker, but 150 is not going to be ideal for an approach. I mean, it's not bad. That par 3 was 159, so that was okay. Yeah. But I'd prefer to have like 180, 185, 190 in. 218 to there. So from there, 150, we need to go back it's about 25 yards. Maybe no, maybe we want to go back 30 yards. So I want to hit this 180. So it's two sevens. It's pretty much two sevens. And I'm home. Putting for the course record. If I can go just short of that 150, about 20 yards, I'm going to be happy.
Okay, we've got 177. We've got the little seven iron ski. We're going to just grip down on it. We're going to make sure of this one. We're going to make sure of it. It's still a nice swing on it. Get it right over there. Right over there. Yeah, just, just on, but I'm very happy with that. That's a little parski right over there. Okay, players, we're looking at 145 shot here with the seven iron. This is not ideal. I thought into the wind, 360, we're gonna have two sevens, but I don't know what happened. Maybe I cut the corner a little bit. So we're gonna go 145. That's obviously a little punch shot. Gonna just punch it on the middle of the green, into the breeze, like a beaus. Ah. Oh, we're just about there. That's fine. Okay, come on. Let's get up and down here, girls. Unlikely. But you never know. It's the right club, I guess. It's the right club. Could be, could be, could be, could be. Yeah, not too bad. Good, good touch, huh? Good touch. The touch of a florist. <laughs> yeah, man.